Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I had to make sure my microphone was on. <laughs> so today's video, we are going to be doing swatches of the NYL NYX This Is Milky Gloss. I picked up some shades from Ulta and I wanted to give it a try with you all today while I have some natural light out here. So maybe it'll come off more natural without the synthetic light. So let's jump right into it. The first shade, which I showed you, these are $8.50. The first shade I showed you is Milk and Honey, and it's labeled as a honey nude. So let's go ahead and try that on and see if it shows up. This is my first time ever trying any of these glosses. That smells good. Oh, it smells real good. Huh. Okay. On my skin tone, this just comes up as clear. I can see where it's nude, but my skin tone, my lip color is nude, but my nose. It's nude, but it's not really all that nude on my skin tone. With somebody with a lighter complexion, I can see it really showing up. It's still pretty. It's still pretty. It's just, it's just a really pinky nude on me. Yeah. So this is the shade Milk and Honey. The next shade is Salted Caramel Shake. And this just says caramel as the color. I'll do swatches at the end. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, they all smell like what they are. This smells like caramel. No liner. I'm not using no liner or nothing because I really want y'all to see it. So this is Salted Caramel Shake. And as you can see, it's a very, very creamy <laughs> and salted. So I definitely need a brown lip liner with this. Do not walk out the door with this with this lip gloss on like this. Mm -mm. But oh, they, if I haven't said they feel really good on the skin, on the lips. Yeah, but this is Salted Caramel. This would be a good topper. The next shade is UV Shake, and it's kind of like a mauve pinky color. It doesn't have any description or anything about it. UV Shake. Uh, it smells like berries. Yeah, like a pinky, like I told y'all. The smell alone will have you <laughs> addicted to these um, lip glosses. Oh my gosh, they smell good. So this is UB Shake. Very pinky and pretty and soft. Kind of like a Barbie doll pink. This is pretty even without a liner. I need to find my MAC Night Loft. I don't know where it is. But yeah, UB Shake. The next one is Coco Latte Shake, which says it's a milk chocolate shade. One of my most favorite shades, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Uh-huh, it's a perfect nude already. Mm, it smells like uh, Nestle Quick. A cup of milk and Nestle Quick. Mm. Nice neck. Uh-huh. it comes in 12 shades if i didn't say it. it comes in 12 shades and i got six of them so this is coco latte shake i like this i like this 
Oh, y'all knew I was going to like it. <laughs> y'all knew I was going to like this. Oh, this is perfect. This is a perfect nude for brown skin. You don't need a liner with this one. Well, I don't need a liner. I will wear it just like this. This is pretty. But with a liner, paired with a liner, it's even better. The next shade is called Milk the, Milk the Cocoa and is considered a dark chocolate shade. Smells like dark chocolate. Still pretty. Mm. Because I am already chocolate, this just looks natural <laughs> this just looks a natural still beautiful to me i think this is absolutely beautiful but like i said someone with a lighter complexion this would probably show up as a brown brown but on me i'm just looking chocolate and i love it the very last shade i thought would be so fun and I actually see another one that I probably want to try. But, oh no, this is it. This is called Mango Lasse. Mango Lasse. And it's a peach shade. Online, the shade looks kind of like mustard colored. That's why I thought it was another one I want. But this is peach. So let's see if this peach shows up on me. This is the one I think I saw on Brie. That I was like, oh, that's pretty. It smells like peaches. And I just wrote some stuff yesterday to make a peach cobbler. Yeah, yeah it smells just like peaches. So. This is the shade, oh, this is not even peaches. Why do I keep saying peaches? This is mango. So this is a mango. It has a slight tint to it, as you can see. But if I don't knock anything over. A slight orange tint to it. And this is just natural. Like, I have a light, but it's way over there. But in the window side in front of me. So this is a mango lasse. Mm, pretty. But on me. It just pulls natural, if I'm being honest. So, right now, I'm going to insert swatches for you all. Maybe that will show you a little bit more. Maybe you're lighter than me. And the shades will come off a little different on you and your lips. I hope you can see them. But this is how they look on my skin tone. I absolutely love all of them. Even if I told you the ones I told you were close to my skin tone, I still don't mind. The smell is amazing. They feel really good on the skin. My lips are not sticky and sticking together. But these are the shades. Now let's do a com now let's do a combo using a lip liner. I'm going to take my Juvia's lip liner in brownie, some brown shade to line my lips with. And what shade do y'all think I'm going to go with? Y'all already know. I am going to go with Coco Latte Shake. Mm. 
-hmm. Not mad at it at all. It looks natural. They are worth the whole eight dollars and fifty cents. Really natural. Y'all know I love a gloss and a liner anyway. So yeah, always let me know if you plan on picking these up. If you have any, if you have any of the old shades, where the old shades like these. I mean, I think this is beautiful. Simple and beautiful. Simple is the most beautiful thing in the world. So yeah. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.